I know having a broken arm isn't how you pictured your summer. A little bit of pain. It's just so scary to see your little children hurting. Oh, mommy, it looks so bad. Claire was crying too. Her broken arm is hurting too. How did you break your arm? Hi Dolly friends, it's Renee here and Christy and Victoria and Clara. We just got home from the what Christy? From the ER. That's right, it's just so scary to see your little children hurting and that's how Clara and Toria were. They took x-rays of their little arms and they both broke the radius in their arm close to their wrist. Christy's been my big helper here and baby Emma and Daddy C stayed with Kate over there. Yes, little Kate stayed asleep through all that drama and she's sleeping so well. The folks at the ER were so good to us. They just took such good care of the girls, took x-rays, put on splints and slings, and we're just grateful to be home, but we've got to get to bed. It is 10 o'clock at night and we have a very important meeting in the morning going to an actual bone doctor where they'll put on like the hard cast. I hope Toria and Clara stay asleep through the night. I know they're in a lot of pain. Good night, Toria. Sleep well. Hope this little arm heals soon. And you too, little Clara. Oh, poor little babies. Good night, little girls. Oh, I am so exhausted. It is so late. Are you tired, Christy? But I still have one big question on my mind. I do too. Are you wondering too? I know, I still don't know actually how Toria and Claire broke their arms. I had just put them to bed and I heard a big thump. You were in there too, Christy. You heard a thump but didn't see exactly what had happened. And Toria was too worked up to really explain what was going on before she fell asleep. All I know is that they were really worked up and there was a lot of tears and crying, but I don't know what happened except that they fell somehow and Christy, you were already starting to fall asleep when that happened, weren't you? So it's still a mystery. I'm hoping tomorrow Tori will be able to explain what happened. For now, I think we're gonna go to sleep because we're tired. It's late. We were just at the emergency room. We'll see you in the morning. girls are okay. Come on, let's go. It's the day of their big appointment. I hope they're okay. Oh no. Toria, Clara, how are you doing? Oh. Oh, mommy, it hurts so bad. Oh, Toria, I'm so sorry. Oh, that must be why Claire was crying too. Her broken arm is hurting too. need some pain medicine. I think you're right, Christy, but there's just one problem. They can't take pain medicine on an empty stomach and they haven't eaten since last night. I'm not hungry. I'm not surprised. Sometimes when people are in a lot of pain, they don't feel hungry. I think that just means that we're gonna have to think of something extra yummy for Clara and Toria to try to get their appetite going. Christy, will you be my helper? Let's go make a good breakfast for them. Maybe an oatmeal or fruit. Oh, that's Kate. I'm sure she's hungry. She's not in any pain. Well, good morning, little Kate. I'll take your passy. Come here, big girl. This is Clara's twin sister, Kate. She has a feeding tube, and I'm sure she's pretty hungry, aren't you? She can help us make breakfast for the girls with the broken arms.
Well, I'm so glad that Christy and Kate and I can have some time together. Oh, Kate wants me to pick her up. Hello, Kate. Well, now we're all together. Because sometimes when some of the other siblings have problems and need more time, it's special to spend time with the ones that are feeling fine but maybe not getting as much attention. Huh. Each one of you is so special. Okay, let's keep on making this breakfast nice. Christy's making some cereal for the twins. Oh, how was that, Christy? Good. So she's making the breakfast for Clara and Kate. I hope Clara will like that. I'm just trying to make a special breakfast for Tori. So we just got some oatmeal and I need to add some special things now. Hmm, what should I add? Here are all of our spices, sage, oregano. Let's see what else do we have. Turmeric, cayenne, cumin, Italian seasoning. I'm looking for, oh, there it is, cinnamon. I just pulled out the little white bed tray that I get out when the girls aren't feeling well. And we can't forget the twins bottles. <sighs> it's a beautiful flowers to make the tray just look pretty. There we go. I think we're ready to take this to your sisters now. We've just had a little accident on the way to drop off the tray to the girls. Things like that happen sometimes, but ooh, that's a mess. Thanks, Christy. We'll try to put this tray back together. Well, at least the food survived. Don't worry, Toria and Claire, we're coming soon. We've gotta get them their medicine. We've gotta get them their breakfast. Gratefully, the food survived. That's what's important. Just a little bit much to carry the flowers and the tray and the food, so. We're a good team, let's go feed our hurt little sisters. pretty bad. Yes. They're just being so brave about it, aren't they, Christy? Yes, I'm so glad you girls are enjoying your oatmeal. Um, do you know how they broke their arms? I still don't know. We'll need to ask Toria. I think she's settling down a lot even though she's in pain. Maybe she can tell us. Oh, Toya and Claire, why are you so sad? Oh, My arm hurts so bad. Oh, yours must be hurting too, Clara. Now that they've had some food in their tummy, I guess we could give them their medicine. So now that we've got them their medicine, it's getting really close to the time that we need to go to their doctor appointment and get their hard cast. This is um, a real doctor that we're gonna take Victoria and Clara too. We've got to get them ready to go. We've got just a couple minutes before it's time to leave for the appointment. I think this is a good time to ask Toria what happened, don't you think? Toria and Clara, we were just wondering, how did you break your arm? By falling out of Kate's bed. You fell out of Kate and Clara's bed? Mm -hmm. You just tumbled to the ground? Mm -hmm. Did you fall at the same time, Clara? Yeah. So you both fell together and kind of crashed? Mm -hmm. And you just hurt your arms? Mm -hmm. That's what it sounded like too. So they both just fell and broke their right radius bone in their arms. Oh, you girls are so brave, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's the alarm. It's time to go to the appointment. Are you ready to go get your casts? Yes, we are. Oh, very good, well let's get going. Well, Kate, we will see you in just a little bit. Christy, thank you so much for taking care of Kate. You're welcome. Oh no, what's the matter, Kate? Oh, don't be sad, Kate. We'll be back soon. Mommy always comes back for you. 
maybe we can spend some special time together later. Bye! Don't worry about us, Mommy. Okay, thank you so much, Christy. Bye! It's time to go to the doctor now. Let's head that way. So we are on the road right now. We are getting close to the doctor's office and hospital where they'll put on the real cast. Victoria and Clara have been so quiet, so I'm gonna just check on them. I hope they're not too nervous. Victoria, are you okay? You feel a little nervous? The doctor will take care of you so well, I know. Too. Claire and Toya just got their splints taken off and they ordered x rays. So they're just getting ready to take another set of x rays. We'll tell you how it goes. How did the x ray go, girls? Good. Good. Was Claire brave too? Yeah. Good, you're being so brave, Toria. So we are just waiting for the doctor to come back. We got our x-rays done, we got our splint off, and we're just waiting for the doctor to come back and put on a special cast. And we're super excited because the nurse told us that they have some special casts, some that even have glitter. Here are some different charts of all the bones in your body, and this is the radius bone that Toria and Clara fractured right about here. So we have some good news. The doctor just came back and checked on the girls and brought this really fun little set of colors that they get to choose what color cast they get to get. Purple? I'm not surprised. You like purple and I know Claire always likes purple. It's gonna match your bracelet, Clara. You're picking out your glitter colors. There's a lot of glitter, huh? You're gonna just be a sparkly girl. Okay. Now it's Claire's turn. Hey. Aww. Here you go. You wanna take a picture with her? Yes, you probably should, girl. I want to see her. How do you like your cast? Can I see your cast up close? Look at Tori's has beautiful sparkles. And Clara has a beautiful purple one too. How is your arm doing? Mine is steady, battle. But it's kind of hard to have a cat. And then Clara, he can't do all the fun things. Like playing in water. Isn't it, Clara? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Be 
be the channel. Won't be fun. Yeah, I'm summer. It's so sad. <laughs> Organize our sensory kits. You love Hatchimals, don't you, Kate? Oh, Christy, what are you doing? I heard something. Do you want to know? Of course we do. Don't you? Mom. I heard Tori and Claire were talking. They sound pretty upset about the cast. That they can't do anything fun. Oh, really? I wish we could cheer them up somehow. Hmm. How can we cheer them up? Maybe we should brainstorm. I know. What should we do? <gasps> I know! What? Toy and Clara love hats and wolves. That's true. What are you thinking about that? We could have a hats and wolf party the day they cast come off. That sounds perfect. I wonder who that could be. mail from you all. Our dolly friends. Let's see who it's from. Wow! That's so cool. She put drawings and stickers on it. Let's open it up. Oh, Mama, we should let Clara and Toya open it too with us. That's a great idea. Toya! Clara! Coming! What is it? We got a letter from our dolly friend. Her name is Guiana. It says, hi girls play dolls. I love your channel. Keep making exciting videos. Oh, we so will. Look girls, she drew some pictures. This is Dr. Tulip's bag and it says for the twins. That's for you, Kate. And Clara. Here's Dr. Tulip, Christy, Toria, Renee, Kate and Clara. And I think that must be baby Emma. And, and she even drew a bone for Rosie. Oh, Rosie loves it. This gives me an idea, Mom. Baby, our dolly friends would love to send some mail to Toy and Clara. Look how much Toy loves getting mail. Wow, that is an amazing idea. Toy would love that. But what can we do today to tear them up? What's the matter, Rosie? Rosie, what's the matter, puppy? Hey, Rosie. Did you want some food? You want it? That's the tea, some food. Here's the puppy chat for you. Claire and Toya for feeding Rosie. You're so good with animals. Hey Christy, seeing Toya have so much fun with Rosie and feeding her, it gives me an incredible idea. There's actually so much that Toya and Claire can do with one hand. Really, like what? I think we need to surprise them with a special trip to feed some special animals, don't you think? Uh-huh. Not so fun to take some little and feed Rosie. What shall we do? Now is our working arms. <laughs> We've got to go talk to Tori about this. I think she's going to be pretty excited, don't you think, Christy? Yeah. I know having a broken arm isn't how you pictured your summer. 
So we wanted to give you a special surprise. Wendy, we're gonna go on a trip. <laughs> a wildlife park where you can actually feed real wild animals like giraffes. That's right, giraffes. And then camels. Right, camels. Feed lions. It's going to be so much fun. What's really cool about it is that Toria and Clara can feed animals with their other hands. This color is not I think Clara thinks so too. Come on girls, let's go feed the animal. What is it, Emma? Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Can we walk through there? <laughs> tickle me. Did the kangaroo tickle you? Yeah. I wonder how she wins. Can you believe that we actually got to pet real kangaroos? Monkey! Do you like the monkeys? Are they so cute? And there's a huge surprise. We're coming up to a tortoise. Do you want to pet the tortoise, Clara? Come on. Whoa. Whoa. I've never seen anything so big. Wow. And he's eating grass. You want to get away, tortoise? She likes it. Make sure you clean your hands, Kate. Now we can go find another animal. Let's go find the camels. Penguins. Yeah. It's a baby. Are you ready to go find the next animal? I the camels. Okay, let's go find the camels. We haven't found them yet. Come on. And all the other girls are a little nervous, but there is a hippo feeding. Chrissy feels like she can do it. So let's see if she can feel you to hippo. Are you sure you want to do that, Christy? You think you can? Maybe Kate can help you. And you're going to throw it in his mouth. Good try. One more. To the rope. Victoria, you're so brave. Whoa! So close. Good job. Okay, so Christy and Claire want to feed some more kids. Look at all these beautiful birds. Okay, girls. Oh, wow. She wants to feed it too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that, baby Emma? The birdie's eating it. Those are called lure kids. Yay, look what we just found, the camel. Christy, are you excited? Oh, yay, let's go ride him. There they go. Yay, hi girls. Kate and Clara and baby Emma, just a little too young to go, but look at how brave those girls are over there. Riding their camel. You're teaching. You've been teaching Christy how to be brave. Wow! This is so much. Even if 
we can use for my parents. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mommy, mommy, it's really important. Oh, 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 okay, mom. Can I call you back in a little bit? Uh, Christy needs to talk to me about something. Okay, love you, bye. Mommy, it's Clara, she's crying. Oh dear, we're gonna need to check her. And I wanna take you along because I know you all are really interested in seeing what a day in the life of having a cast is. So come on, let's go see what's the matter. Kate's sister Clara and Toria broke their arms and got casts on them about two weeks ago. So let's see how they're doing today. Oh, Toria and Clara! How are you girls doing today? Oh, Clara, don't cry, honey. What do you think the matter with her, Toria? I don't know, Clara. That Casper is okay, but I see for Clara, a child of wearing her cast. She wants to be normal. And fish in baby Emma and Kate. Oh, Clara. I'm so sorry. Oh, Clara. Well, Toria, maybe we can help Clara learn to like her new normal with her cast. It might not be your regular normal, but we can try to help you with your new normal. It's kind of tough for me, too. I'm sorry, Toria. I know. We need to help these girls get through their day and adjust to the new normal. It won't be easy, but I show we can do it. Well, Tori, what's the first thing we have to do every single day? Eat soda. Eat soda? <laughs> I don't think so. Get dressed. Let's get Clara dressed and then uh Eat soda. <laughs> we don't eat soda. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um maybe we can make a smoothie though later or popsicles. Oh. What's the first thing we have to help Clara do though? Um get dressed. Get dressed. So this is one of those things, Clara, in your new normal that's kinda hard is to put clothes over your big cast. Is it gonna fit Toria? Push, push, push. Oh, but it's okay. I hope that didn't hurt too bad. Don't be sad, Clara. Kate's there and Toria's helping you. Clara, why are you so sad? You're all dressed. Why is she pointing to your cast? Cast. You have a cast just like her, don't you? Because you want to get yours off? Cast. Maybe that's why her way of asking us to take it off. But we can't do that until her radius is healed. Her bone in her arm that's broken. It's okay, Clara. We're here to comfort you and adjust to your new normal. Maybe it's just hungry. It's just hungry. Well, it is breakfast time. That's always next in our daily routine, whether we have a cast or not. Are you ready, girls? Okay, let's go eat. <laughs> Breakfast is always one of our favorite times of the day, our daily routine. Fruit smoothie is done. But I feel like I should have something else for breakfast. Don't you eat Clara? They always love fruit. Let's just see if we have any more fruit in the fridge. I know we have some kiwis. Hey girls, I've got your breakfast. It's smoothie today. Same to you. I hope you girls like it. <laughs> Yummy. Mm -hmm. Do you like it, Kate? Okay. Oh, I think she does. Mm. She's so happy. She loves good, healthy food. And why do I hear fussing over here, though? Oh, goodness. Is it hard to eat with your left hand? I'm with a cast it. on? I'm holding it for her. Oh, thank you. 
Oh, it's okay, Clara. Don't be sad. Tori, thank you for helping her. I know it can be tough eating with a hand you're not used to. I think that's what Clara is kind of dealing with too. Okay, so I just kind of need to figure out what's going on here because we've got a good night's sleep. They got ready for the day. They've had breakfast and poor little Clara in this day in her life is just kind of fussy. I'll show you. Oh, I don't think she wants any more. Oh, and look at she's pointing to your cast again, Toria. Cast, cast. Are you trying to tell us about your cast, Clara? Don't cast, sad. Cast. Tori is being so brave and you can follow her example. Poor Clara. The next thing in our daily routine is to do cleaning. I'm gonna still try to help Clara do, oopsie, honey. I'm gonna still help her try to do some cleaning even though she's sad. Sometimes babies really like to clean. So I hope she does today. Okay girls, Clara and Toria, I need you to clean all these fingerprints. That really needs a good cleaning, girls. Thank you. Here is your cloth. Here, Clara, I was in a I know it's hard to do it with a cast on, but try it. And let's do this. Oh, no! Oh, what's the matter? Oh, dear. What happened? I think Clara dropped the board off Clara. Oh, Clara. It's okay. I wonder if it was just hard to manage with her cast on. Oh, sweetie. It's just been a rough day. I was not expecting this when I was bringing you all along to see what a normal day is like. She's been fussier with a cast, but she's still usually happier than this. I just don't know what her problem is today. Toya, I think she's wanting you. She's definitely wanting you. And she's pointing to your cast again. Cast, Sweet girl. Cast. Well, maybe I'll just clean up this mess and you girls can go outside and get some energy out and play. That sounds like a great idea. Thanks, Mommy. Hey, Kate. Don't forget Kate. Have fun, girls. Okay. I hope they have fun outside. I can't wait to do that. afternoon and I feel completely worn out. This has been a huge day. Poor little Clara. I think that's her again. What can be the matter? Why is she so sad? Poor girl. What is the matter, Clara? Oh, poor baby girl. Did she wake you up, girls? Yeah. Little Clara, we just want to be here for you and help you adjust to her new normal with her cast. I guess that's why she's sad. I don't know. I'm just just a little, I guess, worn out about today and first year we can't help her. She's wanting Toria again. Cut, cut. And she's pointing to your cast again. Cut, cut. Clara, yes, you have matching casts. But don't be sad. See, Toria's not sad. Is it just hurting? I like backwards. Seems like she's trying to tell us something, but I'm not sure what. What could Clara be trying to say? It's such mystery. Backwards. 
Baka baka. <gasps> That's it. She's trying to say that she wants sparkles like Tori's cast. Clara, you're wanting sparkles? Is now she's giggling. We got it. You want sparkles on your cast, just like Tori. Did you notice Tori's sparkles? See all these pretty sparkles Toria has? Mm -hmm. But Clara has a different type of cast. It's the type of cast baby borns have, and the doctor's office didn't have any sparkles that go on it. I'm sorry, Clara. Oh, but don't be sad. She wants sparkles. We don't have any sparkles at our house. I like sparkles. And especially to pin on the cast. I know! We can draw a heart on it. We can draw a heart on it. That's a great idea. That will look beautiful. Let's draw a heart on her cast. Oh, we want to draw a heart because why, Toria? Because we love it. Okay, let's draw your heart. <laughs> Aww. There you go, Clara. I can't believe the time is actually here. We are in the car on the way to Toria and Clara's appointment to see about getting their cast off. There are the ladies of the hour. They're just thinking about it. And we have Christy and Kate for moral support. How are you doing, Toria and Clara? You a little nervous? Okay, so we're just pulling up and we're going to jump out and go see this goes we're running a little bit late so hopefully they kept our spot <laughs> we're just waiting in line Christy you've never been here have you how do you feel about being back Toria do you think you'll get your cast off so we just got checked in and Christy's here and Toria while we wait and we're a little nervous Toria was wanting to show Christy what the toys the toys okay go show there's a George book. We read this one before. How do you feel about this, Christy? I'm a little excited. No, do you feel nervous? Do you think she'll get her cast off? I don't know. As we're waiting here, Christy and I are talking about is that if she actually is able to get her cast off, that we are going to have a party for Toria, a Hatchimal party. So we are so excited, so we're going to have to do some party planning after this. But if she doesn't get her cast off, she and Clara, then we're going to have to postpone that. So we're really hoping she gets her cast off so we can have a party after the appointment. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Wow, Toria built a huge tower while she's waiting. I'm about to make it more little. Cool. Good moment, Toria. Let's go back. Ready for your cast to come off, little Misty? Is she ready? Yeah. They've awesome. Okay. Well, we'll get yours off first, and then we'll help a baby. She's been asking <laughs> this whole time, how are they going to take this off? <laughs> it is a little tickle machine. Yes. Do you like to be tickled? Yeah. Do you like to tickle, sister? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. We're going to put that right under your underarm, just like that. It's kind of like the vacuum cleaner or the lawnmower. Kind of kind of gets a little noisy. But when it's on, I can rub it all over my hand and it can't hurt me. Okay? Just like you. It's going to tickle. Sounds scary, doesn't it? That's not very fun, but I can rub it all over my hand. Do you see how it's touching me? It can't cut me. Okay? So I can't touch you either. It just tickles. <laughs> Is that kind of funny, Christy? There we go. There we go. Get all that dust off. And then, so this has a little closed mouth, so he's going to go in that little line that we just cut, and he's going to. And I have my little friends in my pocket. It's really far away that way too, right? So nothing can touch you. Just the pink little ski that it skis on. This is number four. And we're gonna pull it apart just a little bit. Now are you gonna hatch out of it? Stick to it. 
Does your arm hurt at all? No. When you first pick it up, it's going to feel kind of funny, okay? Because your wrist has not moved in a little bit. So if you try to rotate it like this, it's going to be a little stiff, okay? So that might make it make your muscles kind of sore just a little. There. Ooh, so good to get it off. Yeah. All right. So we're going to put it right on that pillow. I'm going to take this dust away. What is that? I don't know. Got a little bitty. Maybe a little skin pimple. Are you okay? Are you nervous? Oh, it caught. So that's going to heal up really good. If that's stinging, you can blow on it, okay? Because it's just a little scab. I think if you fall and hurt your knee or something like that, you know different. Is she ready for her cast off? Okay, let's see. Who's clear? All right, let's tell her. You have to tell her that we have safety scissors. And they can't cut you, right? They so come in here, and we're gonna push them right through there. Uh, here we go. She's doing a good job, just as you are. Make your arm up. Make your arm up, please. There you go. Oh, good job. Oh, oh that's so much better. Do we need to clean her arm off too? I think so too. Here you go. In her hand. Remember that tickle spot. <laughs> <laughs> she tickling her hand. Did you see that? Oh, so much better. Can she move it? Oh, she can. can you move it? Can you move yours? Yay! Awesome. We've got Claire's cast for us. Oh, she wants to I'm hold sorry. it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. So now you spend a lot of time with that. Okay, so we got our cast off, and now we're just waiting for X-rays. Is that right, Toria? Yeah. A little bit of pain. The wrist hasn't moved for a long time. So Toria and Claire just went back right now for X-rays. They got the cast off. Now they have to do X-rays to see if those bones actually healed, and if she doesn't need a cast, if she's fine the way she is, or if we have to go back and put a new one on. There they are in here. So we're really hoping it's all healed and we can have our party. You excited? Yeah, we're really hoping we can have the hatchling party today if she doesn't need a cast off. So we'll see. Tori, what did you get in there? I know. You got a lollipop you and Clara for your x-ray? Yeah. That's so fun. Clara, are you going to share it with Clara? Okay. So. Tori did so good. Now we're just waiting for the doctor to come back and tell us how these bones are doing. They're still not moving their arms too much, but part of that is because they haven't moved their wrists in six weeks. So they're still, bones are gonna use to moving again. But we're so curious to see. But I'm gonna cannot move it. Yeah, we're curious to see what the x-rays say. Is there still a fracture? Is there not? Can we have a party today or not? So the doctor will be back soon, we'll let you know. There's her little hand. And there's Clara. She's being so brave. It's been so nice to have Christy and Kate along as well. Girls, thank you. You're welcome. Look at her, she's just walking around. Toria and Clara have like a little sore where their cast was, which I guess is not that uncommon because it's been covered up for quite a few weeks. I'll show you. Toria has one right there. Clara has one right there right there so we're gonna have to go to target and get some band-aids okay or go home and get some band-aids okay the girls are having fun playing with the cast that was taken off look at this Woo! yeah look at it it's so hard a relic of toria's past okay please yes tori wants to draw what do you want to draw on it i want to draw it um, flowers. She wants to draw hearts and flowers on the tape, which is so fun. And it's actually kind of sad for me to see this because it was so much a part of her. She went to a wedding in a cast, she went on trips in a cast, and did so much. And everywhere we went, we were making new friends. We, people would ask her, your sparkly cast is so pretty. How did you break your arm? So we met so many new friends. But I'm glad she's healing. I'm glad she hopefully won't need a cast anymore. Mama? Yes? 
We got to do the punch more party. Okay, so the doctor just left and gave us the update from her x-rays. And it looks like it's healing up well. It's still a slight fracture there. So she's gonna go into a brace. I think Clara's healed up perfectly, but Tori's gonna have a little brace that she'll wear during the day. And the big question is, Tori wants to know is, what is it, Christy? The Hatchmo Party. She wants to know if she can have her Hatchmo Party, and the answer is... Yeah! Yes! Target, here we come. The big wedding for my party. It's a brace, Mommy, and you just walk around it. That's right, a brace is a little... We'll, he'll bring it in and show it to us. It's a little black thing that will wrap up here and protect your wrist. Tori, let's see your brace. Oh, Tori doesn't really like her brace that much, but she'll need to wear it. No, I like blue braces. You wish you could have gotten a blue brace? Mm -hmm. They only had black ones, and so she'll just have to wear it for about four more weeks. Little Clara is totally fine. She doesn't need a brace. Hi. What's the good news, Toria? I might hatch out of my egg. You hatched out of your egg. <laughs> the good news is that she hatched out of her cast. So we can have a party! Are you excited? So let's head to Target and get a band-aid for those little owies and party supplies! Let's go find the Hatchimals! the baby dolls for them in a minute. I don't know. Victoria, what do you want to do? Oh my goodness, they have the happy and hungry baby alive. That's the new one. Oh my goodness, they have a horse display a princess baby little, oh my goodness, look what they look like. Those baby born surprises? See, yeah, and two? they're princesses. Princesses? Does she look like fun to play with? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just letting the girls look at the toys here before we go and find the Hatchimal party supplies because Toria is just a little bummed that even though she's happy she got her cast off, she has a black little brace. So we're gonna hope this party cheers her up. And she's still in a little bit of pain from having her wrist immobilized for a couple weeks. So we're hoping this party and the shopping time will cheer her up. Look who's all happy to have her cast off. A water shooter. Is that a water shooter? Mm -hmm. This is the favorite I to come down. What is this one? The Better Now Bailey Baby Alive. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think, is that a new one? It's snip and style. I don't think I've seen that one before. Is it a new one? Oh wow, her bangs actually move? So cute. Let me see. Does her bang? Watch it grow. My hair is getting so long. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh-oh. I think I need a haircut. Her bangs actually grow. And then there's this little girl and she has the brown hair. Let's see her bangs grow. My hair is getting so long. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. I think I need a haircut. Snip, snip, not too short. My haircut is so cute. That is so creative. Oh! What? Oh, wow. Oh, Rosie! That makes me miss our Rosie at home. Wow, and they have a Sophia so soft. Look at this new baby born. I haven't seen her before. And there's a brown haired girl back over there too. There's so many fun new dolls here at Target. Well girls, should we go find the things for our party now? Yes! Where are the Hatchimal things? We've been waiting for this for a long time, this Hatchimal party. Where are the Hatchimals? Does anyone see them? I see Shopkins and LOLs and Squishies, but where are the Hatchimals? Let's look down the next aisle. I see some You do? Okay, girls, let's go see where they are. Where's Hatchimal? Oh, a Hatchimal right there. Wow, that looks like fun. Three mystery scents. We are a little surprised. They don't have as many Hatchimals here as I thought they would. They have this pack 
that you just open it, it doesn't have actual eggs. So I wonder, are Hatchimals coming back this year or are there just not that many here for our party? I was really thinking we'd have a big selection to choose from, but it doesn't seem like there's much left here at Target. I know. Let me show you what we found so far. So this is one option. There's like a little furry Hatchimal in there. Here's another option. But it's a little big. Uh -huh. We're looking for just the little tiny ones and the little tiny eggs. Oh, there's some up there. Yeah, there are some up here. Let's see what we, there is. Toya, do you like these? Yeah, that's perfect. Hi, Dinosaur. I think he wants to come to your party too. So we already have like our little party favors. Each of the girls will get about two of these. But now I really think Christy and I need to go find a little prize for Toria. I know she's still kind of in a lot of pain and we just want to cheer her up and cheer up because she has this black this black brace on so should we go find a little a little mm -hmm. prize for her okay mm -hmm. here Kate and Claire you can hold our little hatchimals for us that will oh no we can't open them we can't open them yet we'll open them at the party in a little bit we need to move this party along Toria do you mind if we leave you looking at the toys while we go look for something okay okay Christy let's go so many options, it's kind of hard to choose. There's cute woodsies. Hmm. Do you see anything that Toy would like? Maybe we should check on her and see how she's doing. Mommy, I really like these. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Let me see them. Those, those do look cute. Little Shopkins. Okay. Did Were you thinking what I was thinking? I think we better go get those Shopkins for Toria and hide them so she doesn't see them and wrap them up for her party. You want to? <laughs> Do you remember where she put them? Can you run and get them? Are you trying to distract Toria from <laughs> seeing what you're getting? What, Toya? The Shopkins are hidden behind Christy. It's okay, Christy. Okay, did everyone have fun shopping? Yeah. Oh, poor Toria. What? I think we need to go home and get our party set up. Come on, let's go. There you go. Good job. Okay, girls. Christy, you got your bag. That was a huge morning. Oh, phew. I think we're all going to be ready for a little, a little rest time here, but We've got to get ready for a party. Well, maybe we should let Toya rest for a little bit and we'll get ready. Yeah. Well, we've got Toya set up here and now we're going to set up the party. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. We want to cheer Toya up. Oh, and we'll put the babies there. Well, they watch us set up. This is actually a pretty big day for Clara because she got her cast off. Yay, Clara! Christy is doing such a good job decorating cookies for the party. I'll show you. Did one of them fall off? Yeah, an accident happened. There we go. Let's keep it away from the babies. Now let's go raid our Hatchimal collection to get more to decorate our table. Here we go. Okay, we've got so many Hatchimals we can put around. Make this so colorful. I just hope this blesses Toya on today's big day. Even though it was great that she got her cast off, it still was a disappointment to her that she had to have a brace for another four weeks. Now we need to put out the party favors. Let's get it open like dying. Looks like there's a little pack. And there's stickers. Oh, there's actually stickers at the back of that package. That's cool. It's almost open. Here's the big wheel wheel. Let's get it open. 
Well, does that mean that we're ready to start the party? Hmm, I feel like we're forgetting something. Oh, I know! We need to wrap up Toya's present. Clara, do you want to help me? Yeah, she wants to. This first stocking is in the bag. Time for the second prize. Let's put this in. I'm so excited to see Victoria open these. Now for the wrapping paper. So it looks like Toya's party is almost all ready. I think so too, but I think there's one more thing that'd be kind of fun to include on her table. This, the whole reason for the party. Her sparkly purple cast. She had a lot of adventures in that cast, didn't she? Yeah. It's time to tell Toya it's time for the party. Toya, Toya, it's time for your party. Willie? Before we start this, I have one message from the doctor. What is it? He heard about your Hatchmill party and he said that you can take off your brace during the party if we stay still and on the chair. Do you want to? Mm -hmm. I can put it out. Okay. That will be so nice. And you're free! Okay, let's enjoy our cookies. I think we should open our house and all that. Now I'm so excited. Yeah, let's do it. Which one is it? This one. You see? It has one eye open. What did you get, Toria? Oh, I think it's so cute how they're holding something. Okay, what's your next one? Toria has one more to open, and we need to see if these are rares or commons or what their names are. I got a little fox. Here are Tori's little cuties, <laughs> Sapphire Foxfin and Sapphire Gorilla Bee. And Christy got Sapphire Barakeet and Sapphire Birdle. And Tori, you know what's so cool about these Hatchimals? What? They're color changing. Ooh. Here's the warm water. Is she going to change colors? Just drop her in. Oh my goodness. Wow. Is that so cool? This okay, now it's time for the other ones. Woo! Woo! I know, it's like they have their own little bath bomb that's dissolving. Oh my goodness, mine is glowing. Oh my. Look at it, it's glowing. Well, let's see. It's like a jewel. Oh, it is translucent. Oh my goodness, I just love it. And now that these little Hatchimals have had their bath, they're holding jewels. And Toya, we have one last surprise for you. Thank you. Oh, it's what I wanted. Here. Open it, open it, open it. I'm getting so excited. I want you to open it. I think Claire is excited about it too. Okay. Oh, Clay, it's okay. We can see what's going on too. Come on. What is it? What does it say? It says, drinky drinks on it. Wow. Goodness, I can see it. Move it back. You got it. <gasps> what is it? Oh my goodness, I think they want to try it. She's so cute. Time for the second one. No way. Look at it! She has little glasses. What is the name? Are you finding them, Christy? I'm looking for them. Wow, you like... Oh, I found their family. This little one is called Mama Milkshake. 
And this one is Nana Scoops. I love this. Oh, that's my phone. Oh, hello, this is Renee. Oh, hi, doctor. Yes, we just finished the party. Okay, we'll do that right now. Thanks so much, bye-bye. Ooh, it stopped. That was the doctor. He wanted to make sure that we got you back in your brace soon. I turned a button that I need to put it on. I hope I remember how to put this on. Well, this has been a big day for all of us. And if you're wondering why Toria and Clara had broken arms and all the adventures they've had in six weeks of living with Cass, click this video right here and we'll see you over there right now.